Dave Rojas, Min Young, and myself, we all went to College for Creative Studies in Detroit, and we were hired into General Motors together. And yeah, this was our first project uh, right out of school. And the main idea with the concept is it's a two-door, four-passenger, open-air vehicle. They basically said they wanted to do a smaller uh, and more environmentally friendly Hummer, and that's what we did right out of school. You know, you start sketching uh, all different Hummers, and the, the interesting thing is when you're brought into the Hummer studio, you get to drive different Hummers at the uh, Hummer Driving Academy. And that's really where you learn about Hummer and the DNA and all the functionality that you have to have to, to be a Hummer. The main things on the exterior are the, the slant back is removable, these sunroof panels, which have this really cool, unique uh, glass graphic, those are removable. This is a rubber digital camo. It's really tactile. Yeah, isn't that, nice. yeah. But the other, the other big theme on the interior is exposed structure. Instead of uh, just adding more trim pieces to, to cover the structure underneath, we highlighted the structure and made it look really cool. That's what this is running across the IP. It's exposed aluminum. Uh, same thing on the seat. And the other interesting thing with the seat is the structure actually houses this, this suspension. So the whole seat sits on its own suspension, which is uh, a u Lots unique feature. Play in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's functioning. All this stuff, uh, we worked hard with uh, engineers to, to make this stuff functional and, and work properly. On the interior of the HX concept, we have this spring-loaded safety latch. So when that's open, it reveals the engine start button. And then this flush shifter here, uh, right now it's in park, but this pulls out into drive. This is a flex fuel E85 uh, powertrain, V6. And the other day, Rick, when, uh, when they revealed this vehicle, announced a partnership with Coscata. Uh, and it sounds like they can make uh, ethanol from all sorts of unique things like household waste and uh, old petroleum products like used tires. Uh, so that sounds pretty encouraging yeah. and I think that's why uh, we want to be a part of the E85 uh, story. Another unique feature is we have a camera built into our rear view mirror here and the idea is when you're off-roading you can, you can uh, record it back to your M MP3 player. So the MP3 player connects back to the, the camera. You can save your off-road adventure back onto your MP3 player. And you can store all your music on here and, uh, and then also play back whatever you're doing off-road that you want to maybe prove to your friends that you accomplished. You can play it back right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can play it back right here. Two modes to these screens. There's an on-road uh, mode, like a city mode, and then also an off-road mode. I hope the more attention that this concept generates, I, I think will improve the, the likelihood of production. But yeah, that decision hasn't been made by our leadership yet. Yeah.